Welcome to A New View. We are so glad that you've joined us again for this episode is going to be still about gifts, but it's the edible kind of gifts. Mm, And we just are having so much fun here because, you know, we were talking in the last episode that some simple ways that you can really make some homemade great gift ideas, get your friends involved, or just hire our special guest, Tina Johnson, to help you do all of that. And you'll get her information on the bottom of your screen, and we'll also share it with you on Facebook in case you want to hire her for her services or to buy some of her beautiful things that we have displayed on the studio today. But we're going to dive right into edible gifts. That's right. We're going to eat our way through Christmas is what I want to title this show. (laughs) And every holiday in between, Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Yes, exactly. And Kim's going to share with us some kind of some tidbits, some factors on maybe gift giving. Yeah, because it's not always just bringing a dish to share, but sometimes it's really a gift. You're you're sharing your 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 gifting of your creative food in yes. a pretty way. Yes. So the um, value of a gift being determined by the recipient, we take into account their needs. If they have, okay. you know, if they're vegan or gluten free or whatever the different thoughts That's may true. be. Some love chocolate. Some love pumpkin. Some love pumpkin chocolate. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but um, fancy factors in choosing the ideal gift for someone are the recipient's desires to really know the person. Think of what that person truly wants. Whether you've been listening for what they're saying or you just happen right. to. Um, you just know them. Just yeah. know them. Yeah. Uh, usually when you're going to get a gift for someone, you know them. It's, yeah. kind of, it's weird if you... If yeah, or <laughs> exactly. you take into consideration... Even in their home. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. You see their taste. Or you, you listen. Their style. Yeah. Or, or you listen, listen, too, because I was right. just thinking about, we're going to go into my butterscotch candies here, but years ago, my hairdresser, Patrice, she said um, she loved butterscotch, and I thought, oh, I make these great little butterscotch candies, yeah. and so I made them and then dropped them off to her, and mm-hmm. she's like, how did you know... And I listen. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yes, good. very good. Um, the recipient's needs. We have a tendency to talk very freely about what we like and dislike, but if we have a need, we usually okay. don't say very much about it. So you really do have to pay attention for that. Right. Okay. Right. And then That's when good. you see something, think, okay, what is it that I can give them that would, you know, speak to whatever that need is. That's right. good. Um, and then the timing. Uh, let's see. Um, Proverbs fifteen twenty three. A word spoken at the right time, how good it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And same thing about the gift. It's it's. Um, it's happy. It's happiness. Uh, greatly contributing to the happiness is it given at the right time. Obviously, Christmas. You kind of know it's it's the right time if yeah. it's Christmas. But there, this gift gift giving happens all year long for different reasons. So it's important right. to consider right. the timing, mm-hmm. and the giver's motives. Um, I'll be honest. There's some gifts I have to buy around the holidays out of obligation. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So that's not as fun. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Right. Yeah. Um, but considering um, sometimes, especially if it's not a Christmas-related thing, um, whether someone's going to misinterpret your motives. Oh, um, okay. I'm trying not to name names, but um, someone I'm very close to received a very lovely necklace for Christmas one year, and it was uh, a little over the top, considering she hadn't known this man very long. Oh, I thought you were talking so, about me oh. and, and my Flava Flav <laughs> necklace Joe made me. I was like, did I tell you that story? Oh, go ahead. Sorry. You are such a <laughs> I'll have to share that with it. you in a minute. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. So I was like, I, I told you about that, Kim. Okay, go ahead. That's funny. It does sound familiar, but we want to hear it. Um, <laughs> If your giving is motivated by genuine love and concern, the uh, I'm losing it. Your gifts will be likely to be received with joy, and you will experience greater happiness that comes from true generosity. Okay, so and you're it talking is about motive. True. Yeah. I can feel the difference when I'm mm. buying that obligatory gift, and yes. when I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. this person will love this. You and know? then your friend got a necklace, and it was kind of an elaborate gift. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So then you're kind of so like, did and she, she didn't give have it back. Feelings. How did that? How, how did that <laughs> work out? <laughs> oh, she okay. Give it back. That yeah. guy probably yeah. never gifted anyone after that. Way to go. Just joking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have two actually g- giving stories that actually call out my husband because he loves it when he's like, <laughs> when I share stories about you, Joe. <laughs> but um, so when the kids were really small, he got me this, I mean, this elaborate baguette diamond necklace. It was like gorgeous. And the kids were like, maybe six months old. I think it was my very, now not even six months, they were one month old. Sorry, okay. it was my very first Mother's Day. They were born in April. It was my very first Mother's Day. So I was like, head still in the clouds, like I was like, I was tired, no sleep, Mm -hmm. the whole thing. And he gets me this elaborate necklace and I'm thinking, I have one month old, you know, twins that, you know, oh, I don't want anything around my neck. I'm, yeah. I'm done. Yeah. And so, but I remember we went and I said, honey, I need something different than a necklace. This is so elaborate. I would have to wear like a cocktail dress. And I was like, I'm not getting into that. Yeah. And so he, we went and I, and he said, okay, well you can trade it in. So then I couldn't find something. And so then I just asked the jeweler, I just said, 
how much is my credit? And he really went elaborate. And she's like, uh, it's $2,500. I said, I want my money back. Oh. And I got the money back. And he was so upset at first. And I go, yeah. we have one month old twins. I'm thinking diapers yeah. formula. I'm on maternity leave. I'm taking yeah. an you're additional very, leave of absence. So, this, yeah, so then yeah. I was like, okay. I mean, it's not to say he never gave me jewelry because his dad was a jeweler and I have lots of jewelry. And, and I, I love that. And then the years later, just a couple of years ago, some of y'all know this story. My father-in-law was a jeweler and my husband had a lot of antique um, pocket watches and some different things. And there was one that's just beautiful with gold in it. It's really detailed. And so my husband took it over to the vintage area. There's a lady that used to do hand... Um, like I guess with beads or pearls and, and and made me this huge elaborate like with I mean used black and gold pearls and had a bracelet made and when I opened it on Christmas morning it was beautiful but I'm telling y'all with the beads it's so heavy and the clock hangs down like this and so if y'all know there's a I'll rapper named Flava Flav <laughs> that used to wear a big clock around yeah. him something like that yeah, the I know first, exactly who you're talking yeah, about the sadly first enough. thing my son said was like nice mama Flava Flav necklace and I'm oh. like how do you know who Flava Flav is or something we got so many jokes out of it and things, but I, I do have a, a Christmas time. I do try and, and drag it out and wear it, but it's really, really heavy, but it's a thought that, that counted, yeah, but yeah. I'm like, I love you, honey, but sometimes the gifts are just, yeah. And I have cute, funny stories because my husband, he's the type of person, like you were saying, he doesn't listen. He hears a little bit of something or he goes at the last minute. And to his defense, you know, we said it's like being married to Santa Claus because of the, the, the season that he's in right around holidays. Oh, they deliver yeah. everybody else's gifts. And yeah. So it's the last minute. So I can always tell, like, one year I got this huge soup terrain, but it had, like, this shrimp chowder on the box. I'm like, he was hungry. He bought that because he was hungry. <laughs> and so then I started doing like that, and, the you know. Show. And then he got, like, this one time, the box came. And I was like, I opened the box, and I call him. I go, when did you get a, you know, we had bathroom. Our bathroom was not beachy back then. It was, like, kind of fishing. And he got a toilet seat and it had fishing lures inside the toilet seat and he goes close that back up that was your Christmas present I know that is not my Christmas present but my husband was not the best gift giver and I would really be like, and you people would call me. him right now. <laughs> say, he's gotten much better y'all he's so much better now but he's so funny because people used to call me and say I cannot wait to hear what you got for Christmas and it was really and he's it got would a be sense funny. of humor and he has it. a sense sure, of humor yeah. so now when I joke about it and I say you know this is what he got me I said honey you do not pay attention and he's like I can't believe I did that because oh, the last one and we'll get into sweet. our edible guest is that one year he got he went to Costco the last minute I could tell and <laughs> so the last laughing, the sorry. last okay. beautiful like um, set like that had lotions and things uh -huh. in there. He didn't read it. And then they had this big thing of chocolate truffles. So he gets me this massive thing of chocolate truffles that I did not need because I like chocolate, but it's not my favorite. But it was massive chocolate truffles. And this thing, and when I opened it up, and I was like, oh, this is beautiful. Put it in my bathroom. We cleaned up for Christmas that night. I'm thinking, I'm so excited to go use my new lotions and smell goods and everything. And I read across the thing, and it said anti-cellulite cream. Oh, and I walked out of the bathroom and I said, you bought me some truffles and some cellulite <laughs> cream. I know you don't read Joe Ball. Yeah. And so he kind of like, oh, he was mortified. He's like, uh, what? And I'm like, yeah. And he goes, oh. And I said, it had to be the last one on the shelf because there was not a husband in this world that was going to bring that home to his oh. wife. <laughs> that might have been an upgrade from the toilet seat. Yes, though. yes. It wasn't ever from the toilet seat. But... And then Ellen didn't know, yeah, like, oh, I mean, it's just been years. It's just been, but we get good jokes about it. But right. now he's a much better gift giver, and he does so. That surprised me. Well, you know what? And I've learned this because my son and I, Hunter's only six, and already I can tell that he loves to receive gifts. That's mm -hmm. his love language. Mm -hmm. And his daddy is an excellent gift giver, and I love to get gifts. So Hunter and I are in the camp of give us gifts. Get, you know, we'll take anything. We love that kind of stuff. Where Sophia and Jeff, both of them, Sophia in particular will think that she wants to get gifts, like she'll see us get something that Jeff will surprise us with or a gift or whatever. And in her mind, I think she wants to receive a gift, but it's actually not that big of a deal to her. And mm -hmm. Jeff is the same way. And so I've yeah. learned as the gift giver, you know, I love to give, get, to get gifts, but when I'm going to buy for both of them, I have to get, you know, I, I can't, 
expect them to have this great right. response right. because that's not really their love language. Mm -hmm. And part of me wants to be like, well, then I'm just not going to buy them anything anyway. They're not going to love right, it. But right. that's the thing we have to consider too is right. the person we're giving it to, they may not be into gifts. They right. may, you know, they might would rather you like, like Spend instead time. of spending right, that right. money, you wanted him to do something yeah, else with like, it. Yeah. So it's just, we have to remember that too. Yeah. when we're giving not to right. take it too personally and think mm -hmm. they hated my gift. That doesn't mean they hate mm -hmm. you or, mm -hmm. you right. know, or later on we get to giggle about it. like, I think, mm -hmm. I think of the stuff that my dad did for my mom growing up that I remember and, mm -hmm. you know, just the gifts that he would give her and she was kind of like, okay. And so I think we all have some of those funny yeah. stories, but exactly. we definitely, the gift giving is definitely something that some of us get really excited about, a, about it or stress, like I'll get mm -hmm. like real stressed, like, oh my gosh, are they going to like my gift? And I've had to like, just mm -hmm. chill out. <laughs> Exactly. So. Yeah. And it, it's it's really I think it all comes back to what Kim was sharing. It's yes. about listening and re yeah, really listening good. and paying attention um, and things because you know that's that's how you know you hear part of something. And that's what I would and tell my husband. With you it. only heard part of it. And you <laughs> ran with it. And you didn't hear the part that I don't like that. And I'm yeah. thinking, why would you get me this? This is a joke. You know, um, like yeah. why would he be putting this? And he says, you just the other day talked about you know say cashews for instance. And I said I don't like cashews. He's like, what? You said you didn't like them? And in my stocking, there was this big thing of these cashews. And I'm like, do you hate me? Do you hate you me? You need to get with him because you're all about them details. Yeah, details. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's much him. better now. But oh my goodness, I'm telling you. And, and it was really, it got to be comical because then my coworkers yeah. or people would call me on Christmas and they were like, what did you get? I said, you're going to not believe what he did this year. That's but so funny. he's so much better now. But on edible gifts, this is something we all can do. And, Who and, love and something and, to eat? You know, mm. yes, doesn't <laughs> something to eat. And the thing about it is it can be small and it can, or it can be mm -hmm. elaborate. I know for me, I used to, I love to cook and I used to love to bake, but I would spend a day and I would have, we would have friends over some people that I used to work with and we would do all of these recipes and then we would all box them oh, up and you know, we'd give them to fun. neighbors, we would yeah. do all that stuff, but it was tax I mean because it yeah. can be all day long because we did the rolled out sugar cookies and the decorating we did it with mm -hmm. the younger kids because we wanted the kids to be involved but then it right. got to be they ate too much sugar they went outside and played <laughs> and crazy. then we were we <laughs> were in the kitchen with all the work to still have to do and the cleanup but yeah so the first thing, I'm going to go first with my little butterscotch, as I was talking Ooh, about my little butterscotch okay. candies, okay? They don't look so pretty there, yep, but... They do. They're pretty. They're pretty. They're pretty, yep, pretty delicious. So I am going to turn <laughs> here, and I am going to show you what I do. I just buy... It can be Nestle. It can be... I've done the... Um, your delis or the get um there's another uh good art or something like that chocolate's a little bit more expensive you can do any these are fine the little cheapy butterscotch and then you just go to get you whatever nuts i no. like slivered almonds on these but you can use walnuts you can use brazil nuts i've used all the pecans and things yeah. like that mm -hmm. and then i'm not really that crafty that's how you get them packaged if you get them for me and i just do handy o colored saran wrap and a white bow but that yeah. doesn't have to cost a I lot i even know but i knew make... there was colored saran wrap, oh yeah like, for real can, i think you can even get it in greens maybe <laughs> yeah. or something but yeah yep. red cool. and greens yeah. and so you just do it like that it lasts forever and i just put some little pretty tissue paper and i just tie it up and that's a whole thing and and all i do is put this in the microwave and i think for a minute Stir yeah. it, put it back in there for like another 30 seconds, throw the nuts in there, and then you just dollop them on wow. uh, parchment oh. paper, wax paper. And then paper. do you refrigerate them or something? No. How do they take that no. shape now, no. when now they dry? In, in, they dry, cool. but in Houston with the humidity in Texas and things, sometimes I have had to refrigerate them because okay. they have to get them to the, set up. Yeah, set up, to up to because set of the humidity, up. but they're great and they're quick and easy so i we i just ate some of that um not just a few minutes ago and um i was <laughs> she's say, like and i was sick but the but the thing is i if you just showed me that nestle bag of those chips i would not have wanted to eat those and but this was really good i don't know something about the way mixing it with those nuts just it oh was really i got good. you like you were thinking that would have just, just been chips, too yeah. yeah but it was Quite Again, good. Quite good. Uh, I might be an airhead, but I didn't even know they had butterscotch. <laughs> I don't bake. Oh, yeah, so yeah. She's I'm like, yeah. oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, this would be a great thing for Sophia to do. She would love to yeah. do this. Right. And package it. And yeah. Well, you know, like my son, I cannot remember the teacher. I was going to get this information. My son, when he was in intermediate school, they had a teacher and they had to do a project. And I think the project was called The Gift. And I probably should have researched this since we're talking about gifts. But she was an amazing teacher. And they had to have an item that they sold and made an income and then that money. Oh. went to, to do it but she taught them all about gifts and about serving 
Mm-hmm. And it was That's really good. great. And my son chose to make what we call our easy candy. And he did chocolate and he did salted. We do chocolate with mm-hmm. salted peanuts, butterscotch mm-hmm. with almond. Yeah. And he went door to door and he sold so many of them Aww. packaged in the little. Well, that, who could I mean, say no to that cute little face? Yes. And, <laughs> and he sold, and so then it was funny because then he had to use some of his proceeds to go buy some more. But he was like, Mom, that was a quick money maker for this project yeah, for school. Cool. But it was really great. But. Like I said, salted peanuts with chocolate, butterscotch, and that I think they even have white chocolate. Uh-huh. And yeah, anything. Yeah, it's yeah. really easy. Yeah. Cool. Okay, awesome. Tina, what you got? Yours is pretty. I'm jealous. <laughs> Mine is a pumpkin Here, crunch cake. I'm gonna move cake. this so we can see your pretty bow. Um, so it's pumpkin crunch cake, and I'm gonna lift it up here. And you made that bow, didn't you? I did make mm. the bow. And here it is. We've already eaten some of it. <laughs> Our cameraman <laughs> and the producers had some done ate up half of the cake, <laughs> <laughs> whatever we call it. It was really good. It was really good. So it's very easy. You just take, um, actually, you just do it in one bowl. You take your butter recipe. Now, the recipe really just calls for yellow cake mix, but the butter adds a different level uh-huh. to it. Okay. As mm-hmm. butter does butter. In anything. That's <laughs> so why it's so good. It's the butter. And a pumpkin. Pumpkin. Oh, two wow. sticks of butter. Oh, and then empty. your package of your pecans. And if you go ahead and get them chopped, then you, that skips out one more. So step you don't need from, to do anything to them before, like toast no, them or anything. It'll nope. do it all on. It and does it all on okay. its own. So when it's in the oven. So then you just add three eggs, a cup and a half of sugar. There, if you're on sugar limits, you can put in your substitute of whatever kind of sugar you want to use, mm-hmm. or oh, cut good. down the sugar. And it also calls this recipe calls for evaporated milk, but I did it with almond milk because the people I cook for. Are, are lactose intolerant, so it made it with oh, almond milk. It Couldn't tastes even really tell the good. Difference. Nice. Um, and then four tablespoons of um, pumpkin pie spice, a half a teaspoon of salt, um, a half of a cup of chopped pecans. Um, I went ahead with all pecans because I'm not a fan of walnuts, so I'd use a whole cup of pecans, one, then the two sticks of butter, and that's it. Then after it comes out of the oven, when you get ready to serve it, you can dial it with a... Um, spoonful of um, Cool Whip, and mm-hmm. you're ready to go. So did you bake it in this? I did bake it in okay, this. Okay, yeah. Actually, so you I just... made two of these. Okay. okay. So I had one for my house and then one to send to someone else. So the recipe the recipe that's on Pinterest, you can find it on Pinterest, yes. and we'll also try to, to share the link to, um, on our Facebook page, but it's a pumpkin crunch cake recipe, but that recipe makes two of the 8 yes. by 8 oh, so wow. so that's, wow. or a 9 by 13 yes. So you can get the little, uh, you can, yes. the throwaways, or they even have yes. them now that have Christmas things yeah. on them, yes. so you can give them as gifts. The tins. So you good. go to the dollar store and get you two tins, the same shape, and then... You not even had to put one of these them. little fancy yeah, bows on there. On it, I love that. And you're it's really go. good, and I'm not a pumpkin fan at mm. all, at all. But this was really, really good. That's wonderful. Well, good. I'm this glad you ladies liked it. it okay, and I'm going to go to my easy little thing because I don't bake a lot. And what's funny, I was we're sitting here talking about all this. My mother-in-law is the best baker, and I'm the sitting world. here thinking of something to ask her about that, which I might ask you off camera, but. She knows all these little tricks that she's had to help me with because mm-hmm. literally if you don't say to me or if I can't read that it says to do this, I won't do it. And she's oh, like, okay, well, this is, you need to remember to do this and do that. So um, she's taught me some good things along the way, but I don't necessarily want to mess everything up. So I do easy stuff and I'm most of the time gluten-free. So I made these and my kids can help me and it's super easy, but what do you call these? Do they have a name? Just like little you just do the little pretzels. These are gluten-free pretzels. And then you, you, um, Rolo? no, I didn't do a Rolo. I okay. did a Hershey's kiss okay. and people do them with the, they call them hugs and yeah. it's white chocolate uh-huh. with oh, the chocolate. Okay. Right. I couldn't find them yesterday. Okay. So you have to bake those a little bit differently. Um, but you put these in the oven for like four minutes at 170 degrees. You get the chocolate nice and moist and then you stick the M&M in there and let them cool in your refrigerator for like eight minutes. Okay, so that's nothing. Take them out and then I put them in like this cute little tin from Michael's and then I added a bow that I picked up at HEB while I was buying the other ingredients because if you're a mom and you're rushing around and you know you have something to do very quickly, like you wanna make a gift for someone and you're shopping already, just pick up what they have. HEB right now, Kroger, all of the Grocery stores have these little things that you can pick up and make gifts real quick. But um, and those are great little tins because that makes a great yes. gift if you're needing to bring something for a party. That's yeah. a great little snack. Yes. Little appetizer. And you know, if you don't do gluten-free pretzels, the way the recipe is supposed to go is with like the little waffle 
looking pretzel. pretzel. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. But I, I made my kids yesterday. I was like, okay, we're going to do a gluten-free batch and then a regular pretzel batch. And we're going to see if there's a big difference because some people really don't like gluten-free stuff. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I could tell a little bit, but I'm going to end up always making treats that I can have too, just right. because it's easier. And my mother-in-law thankfully does the same thing. Like when she comes with all 800 of her different cookie variations, and I'm not kidding, she can do like a million. Wow. She'll only send us the gluten-free ones that we oh. can all enjoy. So mm, she's very thoughtful. So that's one thing to consider. I know you're big into baking and chocolates and all that. And I know you think about that for people too. So that's right. for someone like me. I'm so thankful that you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of all-time edible gifts, though, some of y'all may have heard me refer to Kim as the chocolate girl mm -hmm. the chocolate <laughs> or the chocolate girl. lady, but she has a um, business, All Things Chocolate and Cakes, I believe is the yeah. name. And... Uh, if you've had, I mean, at some of our previous events, she's made and mm -hmm. sold her chocolates, mm -hmm. and they have been, they are Fabulous. just phenomenal. Yeah. And things, so we're definitely going to share that page and that information, because if you say, oh, these are great things I can do, but I just don't have the time, I don't want to do them, maybe you just want to place an order and get some, but Kim makes amazing, and all of her stuff, but her cake balls. Yes, they are. <laughs> yeah, her product's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. The cake so, balls are so, legit. So the um, the aforementioned cake balls, um, we don't have a lot left because they <laughs> they went unsat really fast here. But these are gluten free, Stephanie. and actually when I you won. when you <laughs> make cake balls, I prefer to work with gluten free just because they they work so more. much better. Mm -hmm. okay. You're going to get a lot more out of a, um, a more balls out of your cake, I guess, if it's a regular cake instead of gluten free because it doesn't rise as much. It's but but uh -huh. still I don't I don't find a difference in the texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can't tell the difference in the taste. I, I make I a lot of different things gluten free and I can always tell a difference in the texture, but cake balls is one thing yeah, across no. the yeah, board. Yeah, I, I mean I can. I mean I've had both cake balls and actually I mean if I'm trying to really go gluten free and, and to watch that, I mean I can't tell the difference. They're delicious. So what kind of do you use a coconut flour, an almond flour? So this what time it using? was coconut flour and actually and you can actually oh. just get a box mix. Oh, I just right. found Betty Crocker is doing the gluten-free oh, um, yeah. cake mix now. But um, I also really like the Hodgson Mill. They also they have a, a box mix. But coconut flour, you can get. I, I, like I, I like flour. almond flour, too. And you really have to be careful what you're, because coconut flour can be really gritty. Uh -huh. So what but were these made with? This one was, well, actually, there was some coconut. Well, there's some almond, too. I So I mix. Don't, don't yeah. do what I do. You do. I know, but it was really good. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. Well, yeah, like the texture. So and you just make your cake from scratch, like with almond flour and coconut flour? I didn't this time. Okay. Um, but uh, but mm. I, I, I doctor things. I like things oh, to yeah. taste the way I want them to taste. So I add some things that maybe. Because um, you know. Yeah. Us, we don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah. I'm like, great. All I know is they are <laughs> delicious. Yes, they are. But the nice thing, too, is whether you go with the gluten-free or with regular, it's um, however whatever you want the gift to cost you can package it mm -hmm. whatever size you want yeah, so you I can see. you know spread the love or just do you know here here's my big mm -hmm. pile of love here's just a little bit of my love hand me a little bit of that love <laughs> <laughs> that's all that's good yeah that's really good um but on that facebook page for all things chocolate and cakes there's tons of ideas so pictures of everything um and just ideas th the simple things you can do um oreos on a stick a lot of yeah. times people think, well, how do you get the stick in there? Or I shoved it in, but when I dipped it, the stick fell out. Same thing with marshmallows. People try to dip. And so just some little tips is, you know, get it, get some chocolate, let it set in and harden up before you move on with your project, whatever mm -hmm. you're dipping. Okay. Um, but anyway, yeah, lots of ideas, things you can do with kids, with friends. Um, just like doing a card party, sit yeah. around making cards, make yeah. chocolate with friends. That's yeah. actually kind of fun. That is Where fun. Do, is there one particular s website or whatever that you find a lot that you like for your recipes or that you would recommend for us to look at or places not to look for recipes because that's probably where um, i'm going <laughs> i don't as far as recipes i'm not sure because i kind of have played with this for like stuff, four yeah. years so you sound just like yeah. um, but <laughs> my i have a friend in jersey that um i actually her mom owned a shop when we were kids and that's where my mom started going to buy her supplies to make candies and that's oh. anyway she it's um the chocolate bells like southern bell b-e-l-l-e-s if okay. you go on YouTube and look up the chocolate bells, they actually make some chocolate like while you're sitting there watching oh, and you okay. can kind of wow. see and mm -hmm. see that it's, it's less intimidating when you can actually watch the whole process before you get oh, involved. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. Cool. And that's even cool. when you go back to these, these, you know, the quick 
what I call quick and cheap candies mm -hmm. and things. Yesterday, I didn't have the, the wax paper, and so I thought, oh, I'm just going to put them on a cookie sheet, but I didn't spray the cookie sheet, so I, like, scraped them all off. So even when they don't look as pretty, they still taste just as, yeah. as good. And no yeah, one's and you can make them look pretty in a package, yeah, a little exactly. bag. or I was thinking edible, edible things, you can always kind of fix them a little bit. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's really true. I was going to say the same with the cake balls. When you blob the cake ball out onto whatever you're using that it doesn't stick to, it's not necessarily going to be gorgeous. But if you just drizzle some other chocolate over it, everybody's like, oh, those are stunning. I know. You know? I'm also yeah, like, how did you do really that good. drizzle? But I ain't even going to ask because I know really I won't be able good. to do it. <laughs> it's really good. So, so if someone wanted to place an order with you, how soon in oh, advance yeah, would they need to place an Oh, yeah. That's a good question, Tina. Order? Good question. Sometimes it really just depends on the season, if too many other people are, or if I'm traveling or that. So right. um, usually, I, I would say probably a week. Okay. A week, a week yeah. in advance. Okay. okay. Week What's your time. favorite thing to make, Kim? Anything dark chocolate, because I personally mm. enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> Does that um, melt and all that differently than the other chocolate? I find it smoother. Oh, okay. Yeah. Smoother like in the melting or in the yeah. flavor or in both? The, well, everything. I know. <laughs> in all different levels. Yeah. Huh? I've grown to love dark chocolate <laughs> yeah. now. I, I mean, love I used it, to yeah. be a milk chocolate fan, but I like dark chocolate yeah. now because it, it's good for you. But the bark's usually doing um, like peppermint oh, bark. You make pretty bark. And I make my bark, um, oh, the peppermint's yeah, very mild peppermint because bark. I'm not a huge fan of like a heavy mint anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. But barks are another great thing you can gift because, again, you can choose portion size, you know, large or small, yeah. but also you can do, you know, Rocky Road, throw in some marshmallows and oh, peanuts. Yeah. You I could do pretzel had... bark, just literally pretzels and chocolate, whatever color, oh, white yeah. chocolate, dark chocolate, oh. milk, whatever you want. I've had all of it, all the chocolate. I, I love her chocolates. Her bark. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I forgot about it. My Broken daughter loves the, right the peppermint. Tree. Yeah, <laughs> my daughter loves the peppermint bark. And do you do, I can't remember, do you do, do, <laughs> do you do? Sorry. Do you do? Okay. <laughs> uh, do you popcorn? Like yeah. the, oh, oh that's don't you love it when you get that as a gift? <laughs> I do. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> hint, hint. <laughs> well, we <laughs> hope that, that we've, yeah, we hope that we've made you maybe a little hungry. <laughs> and so we hope that your next <laughs> gift could be as close as your kitchen. So we hope Ooh, that you easy. will like <laughs> the edible gift ideas that it doesn't have to cost a lot. That's Gifts right. from your heart don't have to cost a lot. It's what you right. put the time. Just listen, find out what somebody's favorite thing is, make it for them because... 2 Corinthians 9.15 says, Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift, which is Jesus, which is the greatest gift of all. That's but right. we hope this holiday season that you are inspired to give some great gifts from your heart. We'll see you next time on A New View.